Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get the latest Canary Insider build for this week, build 25346, also made available on the 19th. And this is where Microsoft says um, they roll out the so-called hot off the presses, new features. And as I've mentioned previously, this is your first point of call in the Insider program. So this is basically where all the brand new features get tested. And um, it's not guaranteed, though, that these features will be rolling out in up-and-coming uh, versions and builds of Windows 11. Uh, but nonetheless, um, just to have a look, if you are interested, at what's new in build 25346. Now, some of these have been uh, featured in other preview builds um, prior to rolling out now and being improved upon in this week's Canary Channel build. But um, moving on, um, the Content Adaptive Brightness Control, CABC, apparently now is being tested in the canary channel and is a feature uh, that lets you dim or brighten areas of a display or monitor based on the content being displayed now um microsoft say that um it does give you a balance between reduced power consumption with visual experience to save battery life and starting with this build 25346 uh, they are allowing this feature to run on devices like laptops and two-in-ones that are plugged into a charger. So basically the long and short of this feature uh, is that um, it is a way to save battery when your laptop is plugged in. So basically it'll just help extend your battery life on those um, two-in-one displays and laptops and so on. Now, um, moving on to the next, um, this is regarding the remote desktop, which is a change and improvement in this um, week's latest um, Canary Channel build. And they say in the release notes, Microsoft, that uh, they've redesigned the connection bar for remote desktop sessions, as we can see, um, to a new refreshed light and dock a mode design that they say aligns with the Windows 11 design principles. So obviously this is to take on the more modern looking feel of Windows 11. And then uh, the next is a feature that rolled out for the dev channel build, which I post posted on uh, earlier today. And um, if you right click on the network icon in the system tray, they've added the option to diagnose network problems, which I think is a nice move. And this one um, is making itself known in basically all the insider uh, channels. And um, I have mentioned this before, but just for the purpose of this video, uh, Microsoft say they are introducing new presence, sensor, privacy settings, and APIs. Um, if you have a device with compatible presence sensors, so you need the um, compatible hardware for this, else it won't work. So you can now manage your privacy and block and or allow certain apps from accessing these sensors which this toggle can be um, found on the settings privacy and security present sensing page and obviously that's if your device supports it you can toggle that on and off and then this is a bit of a legacy update to windows 11 now and um, being tested in the canary channel regarding windows security where microsoft say they are now reintroducing the updated windows security firewall notification dialogues to once again match the more modern look and feel um, of Windows 11. And then something regarding HDR support. Um, this is regarding graphics. Microsoft says it's now easier to configure the state of HDR when running on battery. So you go to setting system display HDR and you can choose whether you want um, HDR, as we can see in the screenshot provided, or in the next screenshot, um, HDR video streaming. Uh, to remain turned on when your PC is running on battery. So those are once again a couple of graphics uh, power consumption improvements. And those are the new features that have rolled out. And that's more or less what's new uh, in this week's latest Canary build. And as Microsoft says, those are the latest hot of the presses uh, features being tested now in build 25346. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.